<laughs> no wonder Surtag plays this deck, man. It's probably the easiest thing I've ever used of, of, of my entire life playing this game. Yo, what's up, guys? In today's video, I am going to be roasting the top Clash Royale YouTubers main decks. If you guys enjoy the video, please make sure to like and subscribe. And just a brief little note, I guess. I am friends with literally every single creator's deck that I'm going to be using. All of this is just for fun, and I don't actually hate anybody or think badly about any of these creators. For the first creator I will be roasting, it's going to be Ian here, man. I mean, and where do I even start? We're just playing Hoggy Q here, man. What an easy deck right here. It's no coincidence that Ian hasn't got any top finishes without Hog Rider Earthquake. It's just so simple to play, man. But one thing I've noticed is that Ian hasn't been using Hog Rider Earthquake at all recently. And I think it's because he's kind of fallen off. He's been using all of these no-skill decks all the time, like Giant Graveyard, Golem Healer, and all these kind of stuff, man. So I'm going to be showing Ian how to play Hog Rider again and showing you guys how to play Hog Rider as well, since I guess Ian can't. I'll just Tesla here. I am against the best P.E.K.K.A. player in the world. Hog EQ is very, very no skill, by the way, guys, if you didn't know. It's pretty simple to play, in my opinion. All you really do is just cycle firecrackers and go for Hog Riders at the bridge whenever you really feel like it. And you can't get punished for it because the defensive cards in this deck are way too broken. You you always want to cycle your firecracker first, though, when you're against these beatdown decks. Okay, I'm going to Ice Spirit here to keep my firecracker alive. Perfect. He doesn't have Zap and Cycle either, so this Firecracker is going to live forever. Yeah, just Skeletons here. Wait, I have an idea. I'm going to Knight Hog Rider here, and then I'm going to Evolve Firecracker for the P.E.K.K.A. He's really low on Elixir. I don't think he can really defend this too well. I'll just Ice Spirit for the P.E.K.K.A. shot. And guys, look at how easy Hog Rider Earthquake is, man. <laughs> and Ian thinks he's like crazy good or something. Incredible, man. Oh, that Firecracker got a hit. Okay, that was kind of lucky, actually. My firecracker is going crazy. <laughs> okay, I could go for another night hog rider. I think I will. See, guys, it doesn't even matter. You don't have to think. You can just go in whenever you want to. <laughs> Man, Ian would have never went in right there. He would have never even thought to do that. Bro, he would have never even thought to go for the night hog rider evil firecracker push. He would have just kept defending the P.E.K.K.A. <laughs> okay, I do have evil Tesla coming up in one second here. I'm just going to ice spear and I should be good. Okay, I can log earthquake on the mother witch man okay just firecracker far away and i'm good easy defense he might go for a pekka in the back if i was ian right now i would go for a hog rider on the left straight into that bandit and an incoming pekka yeah there it is and i would probably choke the game but because i'm not ian i'll just go for the tesla in the middle then skelly's down low should be a really easy defense and i also have evolved firecracker coming back up too i'll just firecracker the bridge here to get some chip damage he does have to arrow zap on top of that perfect I can go for a second Tesla, and then I can also go for the hold up knight here. I kind of paused there for a second. Okay, let me just go for the Earthquake plus Log on top of the Mother Witch Battle Ram. And this is going to be a free defense, guys. Tesla again. Man, look at how easy Hog Rider Earthquake is. No wonder Ian has a top one finish, man. He doesn't use anything that takes any skill to play with. <laughs> okay, just going to Hog Firecracker. Wait, that Firecracker is going to destroy the Little Prince. Earthquake? Nice. I just need to cycle back to another Earthquake, and that will be GG's. Ian could never, guys. Ian could never. Let me just log. Bro, Ian would have lost this game. I saw Ian getting destroyed by Pekka when he was recording a Hog Rider Earthquake video, but I just beat it so easily, man. <laughs> All right, guys. Next up, we're playing Aragon's main deck. Just going to go for the Expo Tesla at the bridge first play, because you can do whatever you want with Expo and get away with it. <laughs> Look at this, man. Look at this. Okay, just going to go for the Ice Spirit, and then I think I could Bomber as well. Maybe try to get a nice Expo connection. Man, Aragon could have never done that. <laughs> Let's go. Guys, I've never seen Aragon beat Drill in his life. <laughs> Hopefully, I could beat Drill here. Drill is not exactly easy when they have the Knight in their deck. It's usually much easier when they have the Mighty Miner, but with really good gameplay, I think I could win anyways. We'll see, though. I could just go for an another Expo. Expo's no skill, guys. All you do is just spam Expos. That's what, at least that's what Aragon does. But to be fair, I do see him losing most of his matches. So who knows, guys? I'll just go for the Expo down in the middle just to be annoying. I think I could catch him off guard. Okay, he goes for the Tesla. I'll just go for the Arrows. Should get a little bit of an Expo lock, maybe. Okay, yeah, that's actually going to be a lot of damage. Oh, no, he's going to go in really aggressive. I'm going to Ice Spirit to block the bridge and just Evo Bomber on defense. And guys, that is literally proof you can go as aggressive as you want with Expo and you can defend every single time. I mean, I just went 9 Elixir into 4, being down 5 Elixir, and I still just defended for less damage than I got. <laughs> Easy. 
I will just go for another Expo as soon as I'm able to, guys. I'm just going to completely spam Expos this match just to show you guys how simple it really is. Not much defense gets played with Expo anymore. I feel like people kind of get that mixed up nowadays. Okay, he goes Little Prince other lane. I'm just going to Expo. No worries in the world. He does have Evolved Tesla coming up, so I'll just let the Expo go. Then Knight here on defense. Also Bomber too. Easy defense. Wait, is my Bomber going to shoot? Okay, there we go. Okay, I'm going to Skelly's here to block the Bomber, then Ice Spirit too. Always have to be very fast when you're defending the Evolved Bomber. Aragon wouldn't have been able to react to that in time. <laughs> okay, just going to go for the Expo Evolved Tesla. Also, Evo Bomber on defense. The only time I ever really defend is when I'm defending a Goblin Drill. Otherwise, I'm just going Expo Tesla like a very skillful player. I can Ice Spirit to pull that Knight out of range. Nice! Small little Expo lock right there. That's what we like to see, guys. Okay, I'm going to Expo again immediately with the Evolved Tesla. That thing's going to be alive forever, man. It's not taking any damage. Okay, I could pull that Knight out of range with the Knight of my own. Okay, easy. Also going to Bomber to predict his Bomber. Oh, oh wait, my Bomber's running away. Perfect. That's going to help DPS down his Guardian. Ice Spirit to block the Evo Bomber. Let's go. Okay, I'm going to go for an another Expo here. I'm going to put it like this, though, so he can't line up with the Evo Bomber all night to block the Tesla. Perfect. Bro, look at how easy Expo is, man. Like, I'm just literally just going Expo over and over and over again, and it's just so easy. Bomber hit? Oh, man. Okay. I think that's going to be a dead Expo, but I might get a little bit of a connection. Nice. Expo's on tower for a little bit. I'm going to Expo again. Bro, I have I went for like 10 Expos already. I'm going to Tesla again just in case. He might also go for a Tesla on the other side, but I don't think he can really get it off. He might pop the ability for the Guardian. He does not. I'll Bomber here. He's going to Poison Arrows probably. I'll just Arrows of my own try to get a small little lock. Nice. Okay. Pretty good damage right there, guys. And now it's time to Expo against Skelly's in front to block the pre-Tesla. And then I have Evo Tesla for defense. Bro, this guy has been getting spammed the whole time. <laughs> Man, Expo is so simple, bro. All right. That should be one shot. Nice. Let's go. Expo is also back on the tower. Pretty much equal damage on both lanes, but now he might be able to start going for drill. He's going to Tesla predict me, so I'm going to Knight first. Oh, bro, look at this Expo gameplay, man. Aragon could never. Aragon could never. Let me just go for the Tesla here on top of the Knight. I will also have arrows ready for the Evo Bomber. Oh, my. Okay, that guy. That guy's smarter than me. He just baited me so bad, actually. Let me Knight here for the Tesla again. Perfect. Bro, I keep predicting this guy's his prediction, but that was a really good Evo Bomber by him. He kind of outsmarted me there. Oh, Evo Bomber arrows. Maybe he could try to get the Expo on. I'm going to Knight here. Oh, no. The Bomber's going to splash. I still need to keep going in with Expos, though. That's the only thing. Nah, but the Little Prince is kind of blocking. Okay, I'm going to Tesla Expo, and then I have Bomber for defense. Come on, Bomber. Get down. Ice Spirit 2, and I should be all right. Knight here to block. Okay, I have arrows for everything, too. That will be one more Bomber shot, but I could get it maybe a small Expo lock. Evo Tesla for defense. Skeletons here. Come on, come on. Aragon would have choked this, guys, but I'm not choking. Just let me poison. I could also arrows, but I think I need arrows to defend the drill. I'm going to knight here to block everything. Evo Bomber all the way away from the arrows. Arrows of my own. Skelly's here. Come on. Wait, did I win? Wait, did I win? Did I win? Wait, I won. Let's go, guys. Aragon could have never. Aragon could have never done that. <laughs> I told you guys. I don't choke that. I don't choke that. All right, guys. With the next deck in YouTuber we will be roasting, it's going to be Baby Nate. I mean, where do I even start, man? That guy sleeps with anime body pillows every night. <laughs> nah, I'm just, well, I'm not kidding about that, but I'm kidding about the part where that's supposed to be offensive. <laughs> okay, just gonna log here on the tombstone. I will be playing this minor poison deck. This is his new main deck for the season, I think, so I think this will be a good one to play. Looks like we're against Lava Hound here. Lava Hound's not too easy with this deck, but it's also not too hard. I feel like you have a lot of outplay potential with this minor deck. I've actually been playing it quite a bit myself in Grand Challenges, so hopefully I could win this match right here. Okay, he Lava's in the back. I'll just pop the ability. You always want to pressure really hard when they Lava in the back, if possible, of course. Oh, Miner, too. Miner will tank for the Little Prince, and he doesn't have any Elixir because he just wasted the Tombstone. So all he had were arrows, so I can just defend this Lava easily with a Tesla. If he goes Balloon, I should be able to stop everything with just a Poison. Maybe an Ice Golem too if I need it. Okay, I'm just going to Poison here. And I'm going to Ice Golem just to block the Lava Pups. Because even though the Lava Pups do die to a Poison, it takes three ticks. And usually the Lava Pups get like maybe like 
a few hundred damage before the poison kills it and against lava a few hundred damage is not really something that you can give up for free and i'm also gonna have to switch lanes anyway because you can't really attack same lane as a lava player with just a minor chip deck or else you're gonna support their push too much a royal ghost in the back here he doesn't have valkyrie in hand he's probably just gonna tombstone if i had to guess at least i think i'm just gonna minor on the valkyrie Wait, what is he doing? Okay, I'm gonna Evo Skellies at the bridge here because he will have to arrows on that since he zapped on the Royal Ghost. Those Evo Skellies do connect. I'm not sure if he knows. Wait, he Skelly Dregs? That's actually a few hundred damage. Okay. He might Lava. I'm gonna Ice Skull him. Yeah, he does go for the Lava, but little does he know I can pressure him incredibly hard right now. Just gonna go for the Miner with this too. He doesn't have Valkyrie. He does now, but... That's still... Oh, the Royal Ghost? Splash on the tower? Nice, that's one shot. Two shots, maybe three. Three shots, let's go. That's so much damage, and I'm almost back to another Tesla already. I'll just go for the early poison, and then I have a second Tesla down. Easy defense. You always have to pressure really hard, guys, so they can't go all in with their push. I'll just minor defensively here. Maybe I could get an Ice Golem down too, just to be safe. I don't really want to take any extra damage. He's going to Lava again. Yeah, I'm going to Royal Ghost, just to keep up the pressure, and then I can Little Prince on defense. He has no Evo Zap, so he can't kill it. Evo Zap Arrows does kill the Little Prince. Okay, wait. I can Tesla for that. Tesla will target the Balloon first, which is perfect. I'll Evo Skelly's the Tombstone just to force out another response, I think. Hopefully. Yeah, nice. Okay, I'm just going to go for the Evo Tesla here. We'll take care of the Balloon and the Inferno Dragon. Really nice. I'm going to go for the Skelly's Ghost. Keep up the pressure. He has to Valkyrie on it, so then I can Miner all the way in the back. And that Miner, he has nothing for it. He can Skelly Drags now. I'm going to get a nice poison on top of them, though. Free damage. Bro, Nate's deck is so simple, man. I feel like I can play Nate's deck better than him. If you guys didn't know, I actually have a better finish than Nate with Minor Poison. My best finish with Minor Poison is number 6, and Nate's best finish with Minor Poison is number 11. <laughs> I have three better finishes than Nate with Minor Poison than he has, and that's his main deck. <laughs> Easiest win of my life. Thank you, Nate, for playing such a no skill and easy deck and and letting me have this nice and easy win all right guys next deck and youtuber we're going to be roasting is going to be hunter i mean hunter i love you man <laughs> i'm not going to be roasting your deck if you guys didn't know i actually do have well i actually did get my first global tournament finish with ice bow back in 2019 i want to say so man i have a lot of love for this deck actually even though i do hate facing it I've known Hunter since like 2019, 2020 as well. How could I roast his deck, man? Hunter is a great guy. <laughs> Hunter will be the only YouTuber I'm not roasting in the video. But don't tell the others that I'm not roasting Hunter and I'm leaving him singled out to not getting roasted. <laughs> okay. Looks like this guy's playing Royal Giant, actually. Man, I wonder if I should if I should just start glazing Hunter instead since, since I'm not roasting him. Okay. I'm just going to go for the Expo here. I mean, oh, never mind. I'm going to... Ice Wizard, Log, and then Tesla. Man, Hunter would have placed that Ice Wizard better, and that Log better, and the Tesla. Man, I wish I was actually Hunter. I would probably be defending this better, but I still didn't really take any damage, so I should be fine. Wait, that Knight? Maybe one hit? Two hits? Okay, I'll take that one hit. Pre pretty much equal in damage, so I think I'm fine. And guys, by the way, a lot of you guys were asking me why I say LP and saying that you don't really like that I say LP instead of the Little Prince, but... If you guys didn't know, I do have a stutter, like a speech impediment, I guess. It's not really something that, like, I care about and that I'm, like, ashamed of having. It's more so just, like, annoying to stutter over and over again when I try to say Little Prince. It's one of the few things that I constantly stutter on and I can't, like, say differently to not stutter. It's just, like, I'd say, like, 80% of the time I stutter when I'm trying to say it. And I actually have a few funny of you guys, like, commenting, like, the, my daily Little Prince stutter, which is kind of funny because Little Prince is in every single video. But that's just the reason why I said it, I guess. And if you don't like it, I guess I'm sorry. I'll try not to say it as much, but... Oh, wait, I just lost. Bro, Hunter would have done that way better, actually. He wouldn't have went right into the Evo Bomber. I did want to get the Evo RG out, man, but I forgot that he had Evo Bomber. It's fine, though. Maybe with the power of Hunter, I could win this game. Okay, I'll Ice Wizard down low, too. I could Skeletons. Well, yeah, by the way, guys, me and Hunter have been in the talks for a collab. So maybe me and Hunter will be doing a collab video kind of soon. Okay. Man, this is going to be difficult, though. Okay. I might want a defensive expo. 
I see Hunter do defensive expos quite a bit with this deck, actually. I'll just Ice Wizard the back. Maybe I could bait out the Fireball. If I bait out the Fireball, we're going for the defensive expo. I'll Tesla again, I guess. And now I'll go for the defensive expo. Yeah, definitely now after he did that terrible RG. I don't know what that RG was. I'm going to Evo Knight here to protect my Ice Wizard. Nice. Wait, that was a bad little, little Prince, too. Okay, Log. Oh, no. Hunter would have done that Evo Knight better and kept his Ice Wizard alive. Okay. Just going to go for the Skeletons here. I could also evolve Tesla on top of the LP. Oh, no. I meant to Expo, not Ice Wizard. Oh, bro. Hunter would have never done that. What's wrong with me? Okay, I'm going to Expo. Wait, what was that RG? Hold up, guys. Wait, I have an idea. I'm going to NATO the RG into my Evo Tesla, and it should just get wrecked. Let me log here. You Evo Tesla on the bomber? Wait, that Expo's going to lock. Nice. Expo's on tower. Hold up. That's actually a ton of damage. Knight here to block anything? Wait, what the... I think this guy was... I think this guy fireballed the back accidentally trying to BM. <laughs> I'll take it though, guys. GG. Thanks to Hunter for helping me win that game. I'll see you guys with the next YouTuber in deck. Alright, guys. Next person I'm going to be roasting is Sir Tag. His main deck recently, I guess, has been Royal Hogs recruits Piggy. So, <laughs> we're going to get into this match and assert some dominance. <laughs> okay, I'm never going to say that again, guys. If you guys didn't know, that is Sir Tag's catchphrase. He's like, peace out, Girl Scout. We're going to get into that match and assert some dominance or something like that. I was trying to say it in his voice, but I feel like I sound too nerdy to do it in Sir Tag's voice. <laughs> okay, well, now I actually sound like I'm glazing again. Man, okay, I, I just need to chill out, bro. Anyways, this probably is the easiest deck I've ever laid my hands on, man, or even laid my eyes on, too. I mean, where to even start? It's literally Royal Hogs Recruits, man. You can play this deck with your eyes closed. <laughs> it's so simple, man. It's just so, so simple. The Recruits literally have like two different placements or like three different placements ever that you can do. Three to three, four to two, or two to four. Like, Recruits are just so easy, man. It's no wonder Sir Tag can play it. <laughs> okay, just going to go for the Evolved Royal Recruits in the back. Why not? Oh, never mind. I was going to Fireball. It's probably, I mean, this was one of my most hated decks for a very long time. Thank God that it pretty much fell out of the meta, man. I was raging over this deck for a very long time. Just recently, though, this deck's really stopped being used that much. It has made a little bit of a comeback, though, with the Evo Bomber, the Little Prince, and the Flying Machine. Especially because Giant is so popular. I feel like you can beat Giant with this deck. Okay, I'm going to Evo Bomber here, then go for the Flying Machine behind this. That should take out the Little Prince. Perfect. I could also Piggies, maybe. Dagger Duchess is really weak against this deck. Okay, I'm going to Piggies here. What does he even have? Wait, that was a bad Phoenix. All right, he goes for the Evo Zap, but that's not really going to do too much. He kind of missed it, too. The third Zap from the Evolve Zap didn't hit anything. Okay, then we can Fireball here again. I am looking fine... I don't have any of my evolutions, though. He has the Evo Bomber. At least I forced out the Evo Zap, though. I'll Recruits in the back again. I have my arrows ready for the Evo Bomber as well, so I'm not really too scared. All right, let me go for the Little Prince here. I also have a Flying Machine if I need it, but I have arrows. Okay, I can Bomber since he wasted the arrows. Okay, that was a bad Zap. That didn't kill my Little Prince. I have Evo Recruits coming up. Hold up, guys. I'm not going to go for the Fireball. I'm just going to Flying Machine, and then I'm going to go for the Evolved Recruits at the bridge. I have a Goblin Brawler. I have, I have a Flying Machine. Bro, <laughs> no wonder Sir Tag plays this deck, man. It's probably the easiest thing I've ever used of, of, of my entire life playing this game. That will be good game, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. By the way, in case you guys forgot, all of this was a joke. I am friends with every single YouTuber in this video.